Hi, this is Thunder E from BorderWorld.com and welcome to our review of the HTC One V on Virgin Mobile, which of course is, uh, runs on the Sprint uh, 3G network. This is an Android uh, uh, 4.0 smartphone, uh, prepaid. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look. We saw this at um, CTIA first time, and here's our review of the One V. So we've got the Virgin Mobile package in here. Open this up. <clears throat> you can see a One V's in there. The back does have some stuff. It does have Beats Audio in here. Let's go ahead and open this up. I think it's already slightly opened. That doesn't matter. Pull this across. Open our device. Pull this out. Surprisingly, packaging seems very clean so far to open, which is, you know, it's much better than most prepaid packaging that I've experienced. Pull that back. It says hello. So what we have here is our basic guide. File 1V, uh, phone, terms of service, blah, 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 that fun stuff. Of course, you got your traditional HD, HDC uh, travel charger, USB cables. And here is our 1V. Let's go ahead and uh, take a good look at the device. Go beyond talk, pick your plan, blah, blah, blah all that fun stuff so the back of the device you see it's it's got beats audio version it's got your speaker back here you've got your 5 megapixel camera shoots at 720p LED flash 3.7 inches uh, again design and style very reminiscent of what you have with your um, remember the G1 it's got that you know lip there um, you've got physical button a uh, touch sensitive buttons are not physical you don't have on-screen buttons you get your home uh, your multitask in your back. On the left hand side, you do have your uh, micro USB for charging. It's a very slim device. It's actually quite slim. Uh, you can see I do have my radar 4G with me here. Just a comparison, you can see how thick that is. Yeah, there. Uh, it's fairly light. On the right hand side, you do have your volume rockers, power button on the top. I'm going to hit that. And of course, you've got your 3.5 mm jack. Let's see if we have any juice in this device we power it up so you can see just start it up there and um, that's pretty much it you pretty much can't open anything it's uh, pretty much one solid piece so just showing you, you can't actually open the device so we're gonna bring this closer give you guys a better idea of the one V and then we'll get into the room. So having used the HTC One V for a while, I really like the device. Even though it's available on the prepaid network, Virgin Mobile, what you get here is a, is a very solid um, Android smartphone. Now, um, you know, it's got uh, a one gigahertz processor and one gig of RAM, and you do get a lot of functionality with it. The downside, I'll say, is you got four gigs of internal storage, but luckily, of course, you know, if you open up the back here, you can expand your storage there with a micro SD card up to 10, 32 gigabytes. So your storage is expandable. Another thing to note here, this is running Android 4.0 with Sense, um, uh, the latest version of Sense here. Although uh, the multitask is actually different. So if I hold on the multitask button here, sorry, I tap it, not hold it down. You can see it's like stock Android here. And if I bring my 1S, showing you that here, and I hold, hold multitask, it's a completely different side to side scroll and you have your standard multitask now in terms of size uh, the one s is a very thin device we know that the one v also matches it in its thinness the only uh, thickness you can say it's actually not really a thickness but just just because the lip is actually curved up to you know match your g1 overall in style but it's a very thin device now uh, the other things to mention here of course is that you know the camera the camera records at 720p does take some very good pictures, um, solid camera. You can, of course, record um, video. You can take photos, you can record video, uh, and also take photos at the same time. So you have all those functionalities that you are, are used to with a stock Android. And we'll show you, we'll clip a sample video with this review for you to take a look. What you recorded HTC One V, I'm at a lake here at some time, so you can see all that outdoors. It's gonna give you a good 30 second clip, of course. You gotta have cars driving. 
and just to give you an idea of what uh, recording is like with the one B. Record the 720p. I'll take some photos here, and uh, that's about it. Let's get back to the review. And um, in terms of battery life, you've got very good battery life. Uh, on standby, I've gotten uh, over three days on standby uh, with use, uh, not full standby, but in total use of the device, I've probably got about maybe 15 to 16 hours of battery life with this. Uh, so it's, it's a very solid device. Now, in terms of software that comes with it, you have a RG uh, on there. Of course, you do have your um, Virgin applications like My Accounts, downloads things like that you also have tuning radio which is pre-installed for you and a couple other things in here but overall it's a solid smartphone and, you know if you're looking for something on the prepaid network i say go with this because uh you're getting a full android 4.0 device um, with the latest feature sets uh, of course you do have all, everything you can think of with uh Android 4 Pro with Sense, uh, the latest version of Sense uh, UI on there. Works very well. Like I said, very smooth, um, really no issues whatsoever. And I really like what HTC has done, especially this one on the budget budget range. This is a very, very, very good uh, um, handset. You've also got Beats Audio, as you can see, they have a logo. And, you know, it does give you, uh, adds a little extra into what you're trying to do with the device. You can, uh, of course, that activates when you plug into your headphone jack here. There's an LED indicator here. Um, that's actually the LED indicator. It's, it runs across the device, so it doesn't pop up in front, but actually beeps up from the top here, which is nice. Overall, I like it. My only thing is, actually, it's not really a complaint. I just wish these buttons were actually here on the lip, uh, rather than on 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 the top part. But other than that. I have no problems with it and also a virgin mobile service actually worked well the uh, data uh, service uh, was pretty fine I had no issues with it it's just a 3g service of course it's lower than 4g but um, overall I like the HTC One V and um, also you can get it on Virgin Mobile. So if you guys have any questions or any comments, let us know. Don't forget to subscribe to all our pages on Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. It's all border work with two O's. So this is Thunder saying thank you and always enjoy entertainment.